Alan Toussaint was an American musician, songwriter, and producer. He was uh, influential in the New Orleans R&B sound from the 1950s onwards. Uh, he released 11 albums under his own name, 18 albums that were collaborations with other people, and I have no idea how many he's been involved in the production of, but I take it quite a lot. Hi, my name's Dan. Uh, so... The last time we came across Alan Toussaint, I didn't actually mention him, but uh, not very many reviews ago, I reviewed um, Nightbirds by LaBelle, who were uh, a uh, 60s vocal group turned uh, funk uh, group. And uh, he was the producer for that album, so he had quite a, a strong hand in shaping the sound of it. Now, apparently this album is a concept album. I'm not sure I get that myself, having listened to it now a couple of times, which is what I normally do for a review. Um, I read up in between the two listens, again, which is what I normally do, and found out it's... Uh, uh, certainly Wikipedia says it's a concept album, but it doesn't say anything about the concept, So, I, and I didn't pick up anything particularly from it. Um, but there are there is an oddity to it, which I'll uh, talk about in a minute. Uh, so it's described as being New Orleans R&B. I'm not sure I would be able to identify that um, particularly. Um, I, I don't know what makes it New Orleans rather than other R&B, and I've looked that up, and I'm still not sure I can apply that in this album, but apparently it's um, quite an influential album in the New Orleans R&B sound. So I would describe it as being soul uh, with hints of funk here and there. There's a particular emphasis on the piano uh, in it, um, and there's <clears throat> there's quite a bit of brass going on. Um, there's some decent songs. Uh, I especially like the song Country John, probably because of the funky piano bass line introduction to it, but it, it rolls along quite nicely. Um, Basic Lady is a bit of an odd song um, in that it's... It's all about a kind of lady who's not fancy, um, and this is being extolled as being a good thing. And I, you know, I would agree with that. It's just the term "basic lady" sounds a bit odd uh, to me. But maybe that's because we, these days, we sometimes use uh, "basic" as being an insult. Um, so it has a weird thing in some of the songs. Uh, when you get to the end of the song after the song's finished, it has a little bit of one of the other songs kind of patched in um, just you know, before you come to the end. So I think there are two songs that I've got snatched from the, the Southern Nights track uh, at the end, and there are a few others that have got other things in there. Um, and it, I'm not sure why. It doesn't seem to serve any purpose. Maybe this is the way in which it's a concept album, but I don't understand what that concept is meant to be. Ah, oh, well. <clears throat> uh, Southern Nights, which is the uh, obviously the title track of the album, apparently is the, the most well-known track from the album, um, and it has this horrible watery reverb on the vocals, uh, or some kind of effect that makes it sound like it's been almost gargled through a glass of water. And I'm not a huge fan of this sound. It's used elsewhere on instruments. But I think that that's kind of... Uh, those two things are the, the, the things that I like least about the album. Um, and now for the thing that I like most, which is the sax playing on here. So just isolating one instrument out of all the rest. But some of the sax playing on here is amazingly soulful and just beautiful solos, especially some of the alto sax playing. So so for me, that uh, made the album, actually. It was the, the the sax bits. And, you know, there's some nice grooves going on in here as well. So, so overall, it's okay. It's a bit odd in places. It felt a bit disjointed because of this thing of putting snatches of other songs in. Um, but I reasonably enjoyed it anyway. Uh, what do you think? Please talk to me through the comments box. That's it for me for now. Country John lives his life Mostly working at the mill And other than his wife A single dream is his own